welcome to my channel and today oh today we have a very exciting video <laughs> if you watch the same kind of content that i do then you've probably been seeing a lot of videos about timu going around is it worth it is it legit is it a scam and so i thought it's about time i checked out timu too actually i'm way ahead of the game way back in december i bought my grandparents what some might call the best Christmas present ever from Timu. Yeah. But just in case you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me give you a brief rundown of Timu now. Timu is an online shopping platform. They launched last year in the United States. They are very popular for their cheap prices, free shipping, free returns. What? The app is really cool. Uh, in my opinion, because they're always running new deals. There's like games that you can play to get discounts. You can search for pretty much anything on there. There's an array of things that you can buy. Toys, clothes, home decor, kitchen stuff, gadgets, basically anything you can think of. So I finally gave in to the numerous social media ads and emails that have been haunting me and bought 17 items for $20.82. I have quite the variety of items here and everything I bought is on the cheaper end of the spectrum, like mostly under a dollar. So let's open this up. Let's see if these items are worth it, if they live up to the hype. I guess I have nothing left to say. <laughs> let's do it. The first item here is a magic fluorescent drawing board. It was $1.98 and I actually opened this earlier with cord before I realized that filming together was not going to happen today. Or... No! And this I think is for you, so do you want to open it? I do. Uh, I hope this is what I think it is. Oh no. <laughs> what did I order? So I thought I was buying one of those little tablets that kids can color on and it turns a bunch of colors, but I'm not exactly sure what this even is. My favorite part are the little captions on here. You guys, this is actually pretty cool. This board is made out of fluorescent PVC material, so when you shine a light on it, it lights up. Ooh, and you can see it a lot better in the dark. Is it kind of gimmicky? Yes, but is it kind of fun? Yes. Next up, I have these 10-piece dish towels. And I was very interested in these because they look exactly like the ones that I use to wipe pour space and clean the counters and do all the kitchen stuff every day. Let's compare these babies side by side. This one is the Amazon one and this one is the Timu one. I can already tell the Timu one is a different material. It's much thinner and this one is much more of like a fluffy texture. However, it's still soft. It doesn't mean it won't work as well, so I will try it out and wash it and let you know how it holds up. Okay, don't click off the video just yet. I promise I got some more interesting things, but next up I have this foldable funnel. <laughs> I know, I know, but it was 38 cents and that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree. So I had to try it, you know? Here's a closer look. I think the fact that this was only 38 cents is really showing in this one. It's not folding out very well. It's getting like kinked on the sides. And all in all, I mean, I think it's still usable. It will do the job, but it's not easy to use. And it's 38 cents. I mean, what can we really ask for? Ooh, okay, let's check this out next. I didn't go too much into the clothing section because there was just so much, but I did get this shirt for cord. So this is a toddler t-shirt. It was $2.51. I got it in what I think is his size and I think it looks about right. I like the cute buttons. I don't remember exactly what the picture looked like, but I think this looks about right. So I guess the only other test is just to see how it washes and how it holds up. Hey, really quick there. Um, if you're watching and you're thinking that this madness is fun, would you subscribe and like this video? Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what's the coolest thing that you bought from Timu because, spoiler alert, I think I already wanna buy something else. I got this cool refrigerator basket. This is a retractable drawer for organizing stuff in your fridge. I love the color. The plastic looks a little bit suspect on the side, like kinda of chewed up, so I don't know what that's all about. But overall, I think that this is really cute and I like that it's adjustable so that if you need to make it bigger or smaller, 
you can. I've also seen things on Amazon just like this selling for way more than, how much was this? Oh, 58 cents. <laughs> yeah, definitely more than 58 cents. Let's test out this basket. The one complaint that I've heard about these, also don't look in my fridge, it's very messy in here, is that if you have a wider shelf like we do, then they don't fit. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm seeing what they mean. So we can't slide it on all the way because we don't have a thin shelf like some newer fridges do, which is too bad because it's so cute. Being that this is a somewhat new company and new app, I wasn't sure about ordering makeup so i didn't order much but i did order this lip tint this is a moisturizing long lasting lip glaze and i think we should probably put it on how long lasting is this exactly <laughs> i don't know you guys it was nice to apply it was watery it dries down really nice it's not sticky um, it feels good on my lips but it clung to all the dry spots on my lips so it doesn't look very uniform maybe that's my own fault but I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> oh no, eternal lawn mowing season has happened, started. So if, if you're hearing it, I apologize. The next thing we've got, I just took this out of the packaging because it was wrapped in saran wrap for some reason. <laughs> but the next thing I have here is a two pack of silicone air fryer liners. And these were only 78 cents for two, which I thought was just crazy. I got these because I have actually been thinking it would be a good gift for my mom. <laughs> She doesn't have to know they're 78 cents. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna have to try those at her house and I'm excited because they feel good quality. They're a little thin, but not in a way that I think would be really bad. Since everything that I bought today is apparently silicone, let's open this one next. This is a silicone oil bottle brush and it was $1.28. I thought this could be useful for being able to brush oil on veggies or whatever else you're roasting but they also suggest that you can put barbecue sauce in this and use it for that. Ooh, and it has a cap, meaning you could probably store the oil in here and not have to take it out every time. Oh, I couldn't film anything because I was holding a baby, but instantly the lid popped off the moment I tried to sauce anything. Zero out of 10, would not recommend. More silicone. I know you've seen these all over. This is a clip-on silicone pot strainer but I decided to finally bite the bullet and try it out because this was only $1.67. And it works great. It feels super sturdy, well-constructed, and it even fits on each of our pans, including the smallest one. It's just what you always wanted, a shoe vest for $1.18. Okay, hear me out. I thought this looked really cool because you can put soap in it or whatever cleaner you're using and then use it to scrub, whoop, scrub the side of your shoes to get those clean. I've been putting my shoes in the washing machine lately, which works so well, but the one part that it doesn't always get clean is like the bottoms or the sides. I feel like that could use a little scrub. The only other thing that's giving me red flags is the bristles look real rough. <laughs> like they need a haircut. Ooh, a sponge holder. I saw some of these at the dollar store in California the other day, but they were $1.50. This one is only 17 cents. And I hate to say it, but I believe it. <laughs> this looks real rough. It kind of smells funny too. It, the white plastic looks kind of dirty and the edges of the silicone are ragged. Ugh, it's just, it's a good thing there's free returns. <laughs> Although returning something that's 17 cents seems real ridiculous. All right, for all you beauty lovers out there, just like me, don't worry, I got you. I have to read this off the paper because it's such a long name, but these are a two-piece bangs, hair, root, fluffy hair clips. For the record, basically everything on Timu's site has the really long name. I just shortened most of them, but I didn't know how to describe this one. These were $1.28. And I was intrigued. They're basically little curlers, but they're on the edge of clips and you're supposed to put them in your hair and it will give you instant volume or something like that. While we're on the subject of hair, I got a couple more items. I've been wanting to try out these no crease hair clips. Have you seen these? I always got the idea that it's a silicone clip so that if you need to clip your hair back, then it won't make a dent in your hair when you take it out. And I actually got two different ones. This one is an eight piece set and it was 71 cents. And this one is a one piece and it's fancier and it was 39 cents. With that said, I already feel like it's not worth it. All right, we have some before hair. 
put the clips on, which is surprisingly difficult to do in the mirror when you are uncoordinated like me. Also, I feel like I look like Xenon. Not mad about it. <laughs> All right, it's been a little bit. I think my hair is dry. Let's see the volume. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it looked more dramatic than it was. <laughs> Let me take this one. Out. Okay, this might have worked or it might have just left a really awkward crease in my hair. It's hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, I think it just made a crease. So here's a before and after. <laughs> you let me know. What do you think? I guess I could wear them overnight and it might do more, but I don't know if it's worth it. We're back in the bathroom. I'm regretting buying these clips. <laughs> like, who do I think I am? Oh, mm, let me fix it. How does one wear one of these clips? Is this how you would wear it? I, I didn't really know what to do with it, honestly, but there it is. It doesn't hold the hair super well. Like I feel like, yeah, if I bounce around, it's already falling out. These ones are not what I was expecting. They're a little bit flexible, but they're not silicone. But I don't know. I guess I've never actually tried the real version of these. Let me clip a couple of them in haphazardly here and we'll just see in a little bit if my hair has creased. Beautiful. <laughs> It's been a good amount of time. Let's take these hair clips out and look for creases. Any? Oh, smooth. I think it looks good. Next up for 28 cents, I have this tiny light. <laughs> this is a rechargeable USB mini light. It said on the website that it was a night light and it also said for eye protection. I don't know, maybe when you're reading your books at night, you don't want to have too much light. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. I don't really know why I bought this or what it's for. So I guess we'll have to ask Spencer. Hey babe, I got this mini light from Timu. What would you use it for? <laughs> I would not plug it into my computer. You could use it as a night light. You could go phone charger this in the wall. Little. Do you like that idea or is it just dumb? No, just buy a nightlight. <laughs> After that glowing review, let's at least find out how bright it is. Wow! That's pretty good, eh? I mean, it's an ugly nightlight, but... I think it's cute! How much did you pay for this? 20 cents? Well, that's as much as I would want to pay for it. <laughs> My friends, I've saved the best for last. I was at Fred Meyer a few weeks ago and I saw a three pack of these herb savers after I had already bought this on Timu for a dollar and 18 cents. I will say the packaging of theirs looked way better. This is an herb preserving bottle. The idea is that for herbs that need to stand up in the fridge, instead of putting them in a vase and putting plastic wrap over them and putting water in the middle, this does all of that in one. So you put your herbs in there and then there's a little plug in the back and you fill it with water and it's supposed to work well. I like the idea of this, but I don't think I'm gonna use it because it's all banged up. That's kind of the vibe that I've gotten is lots of the things that I have gotten are just a little scratched or scuffed or just not in great condition. And then this just feels like it doesn't quite fit together correctly or it's tricky. And then the stopper plug at the back has some green discoloration in it. And I just don't think I feel good about putting food in here. If you thought this haul couldn't get any more random, here is a miniature drink vending machine that I bought for $1.98. I know, it's like one of the most expensive things that I bought, and why? Why? I don't know. Because it was cute. I am a sucker for miniature stuff. Unfortunately, this looks kind of banged up, uh, but I guess we'll see how it works. Okay, everyone, here's the lowdown. The first challenge was getting the bottles out of this container, and now I'm not sure the stickers, as you can see, that are supposed to go in the bottles are kind of bent up and the inside of here is all dirty and I saw a crack over here so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna test it out but I'm not gonna put the labels on just yet. For a second I thought that this was battery powered but no, it turns out this is just where you load the drinks in. And then we have our money because each of these drinks costs 10 nondescript star coins. I think we put it in here. Yay! Okay, now my question is, did I have to use the money in order to get one or could I just... 
altogether, I think it's a fun concept. I think Cord would enjoy playing with it, and I would keep it if it wasn't already dirty and broken. Who knows? Maybe I'll get another one. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what I should try out on Timu next. Is there anything that you want to see me test and try? Because I have a $5 credit, so... I hope you guys are having a great week. Stay tuned next week for more vlogs and more fun. And I will see you then. Bye!